Welcome back everyone to Animal Crossing New Horizons with me, Austin John, and this channel is Austin John Plays, and spoilers, I'm playing. This is now day 12 of my adventure, and I have some things that I need to do. I know that I'm going to need to beautify this island, and I'm going to need to grind up some Nook Miles. And yesterday's video actually posted early, so I have plenty of time to grind today. I made a list of things that I can achieve for big miles rewards, including things like personalize 24 furniture, sell 117 weeds, plant 52 flowers, things like that. So the first order of business is to do my morning errands of chopping wood and hitting rocks. Then we're gonna be buying 52 flower seeds and three saplings, planting 52 flowers so I could get 2,000 miles, planting three saplings, cause hashtag team trees and 500 miles. I sold 117 weeds for 1,000 miles. I sent two letters for 300 miles, then realized I needed to send a lot more, so then I turboed the A button and occasionally hit the start button to send a lot of letters to Goose. I mean a lot, like a stalkery amount. And all of them just say, one, 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 and that was another 500 miles, so great. I visited two online friends. First was Zoe in the Southern Hemisphere, made my return back there, and I wanted to find a soft-shelled turtle, but I accidentally caught a Dorado, and, well, I'm not mad at that, and then I did get my soft-shelled turtle. The reason the soft-shelled turtle is important is because now that I could complete my Critterpedia in July instead of waiting all the way till August just for that one additional catch. My second friend's island, I just showed up and left so I could get the thousand miles. And just like that, I was up to 10,000 again. Hooray. So I killed some time by placing paths before 7 p.m. and buying some tickets. I also managed to buy the simple wood fence recipe. You know, the fence that you get gifted much earlier on. So now I can craft more simple wood fence and I really do think that when you get gifted the 50 fence, you should, you know, that day have the option to buy it. Now I heard you could just take all of your stuff from inside your house and throw it in a field somewhere and that will increase your decoration rating. Just what we needed, a public bidet by the camping area. Never poop in a bidet. After all that, Isabel said that I should decorate my island with stuff that I make. Which, you know what I read that as, which is this island could use a lot more hay beds. So I made a lot more hay beds, and you know what? It actually looks better than I would have thought. Well, we got some tickets onto our first island of the night, and it's a rare fruit island. But there's a green and blue peacock named Julia, and I really like the way she looks. Correction, she's an ostrich, but like a tie-dye ostrich, so cool. While I was here, I wanted to test a few things in regard to tarantula farming, since it is something that we don't know everything about, but we are gathering more and more information every day. First, the reason that I had no spawns at the Bamboo Island yesterday, I looked back to the footage and I read the comments and I did hear a lot of mole crickets, which I didn't realize if they added to the same creature mob cap, so I guess that's what filled up the mob cap and prevented anything else from spawning. Next is the idea that if you trap a tarantula and aggro him, he's gonna remain aggroed indefinitely, unless he like falls in water or something, and no other tarantulas can attack you. This did prove true, and I was able to just walk over and catch tarantulas no problem. The only problem is it really reduced my number of spawns, keeping this one spawned in. So my average rate went from one tarantula every 90 to 120 seconds, down to about two to three minutes. So while it is safer, I don't think it's better. So I decided to catch my spinny boy, and I kept a few holes set up around the area so I can run around and freely catch them. If I happen to aggro one by accident, I could just trap him on the other side and catch him. And this proves super useful, especially while crossing the river. After an inventory full of spidey boys, it's time for another flight, and I got five rock island again. I guess I just need to nab these little white flowers, hit some rocks, and I'm out. Third island of the night, and guys, I finally found it, the Gold Rock Island. So many people have been tweeting me and leaving comments, and so many people in yesterday's video were leaving comments about Gold Rock Island, and guess what? I finally have Gold Rock Island, or Money Rock Island. This is one of the rare islands of the game that has five money rocks in the middle surrounded by a circle-shaped pond. There's a money rock at the north with only one drop spot, so you have to eat a fruit and destroy it and then pole vault to the middle. There's five rocks in the middle that you can hit eight times each for max drops. You do need to clear out some of the money in order to hit the additional rocks and get the max drops. Doing it as effectively as possible is a total value between the five rocks of 80,500 bells. 
By the way, breaking the rocks just give you regular rock drops, not additional money. Also, this is a regular fish pond uh, encounter table, but with an increased chance at trash items. So it's a good way to get to the total of 20 needed for Nook bonus miles, but the only downside is that the pond is so wide, catching and chasing away fish is kind of difficult. I made proper changes to the Wikipedia page for the island tour trips, which, by the way, if you ever need help on things, I'm constantly updating the wiki, especially the island tours. And just as I was leaving, I saw a size 6 right off of the dock, and it was an oarfish. That's nice. For my fourth ticket of the night, I get a common river island. Neat. So I format it, and I experience something really interesting with tarantulas. If I'm holding my vaulting pole, and I'm running around, and I run into a tarantula, he won't aggro me, and he won't attack me. It'll just walk around, and then it will despawn. Or I can walk away from it, switch to my net, and then come back, and it won't attack me. It'll go into proper warning mode. Or I could just walk away, switch to my net behind my hidey holes, and boom, catch him, making the whole paths even more helpful. And boom, that's enough spiders to give these two baby trash pandas arachnophobia for all nine of their lives. Raccoons have nine lives, right? Now I want to focus on sprucing up the place and joking before I thought of just putting down a lot of hay beds But now I'm thinking what if the game knows that I'm cheesing it So I made a list of every craftable furniture item and I crafted all of them and to be honest I thought I had way more recipes than this. I decorated a small area by my house uh, Using the QR codes and then just dropping some stuff and then a small park as well and then I ran into wisp and I guess I have to do the exact same mission again. Yay. You remember when I bought that giant lighthouse? Well, I just learned that at night, it rotates and it lights up and it's amazing. And I love it. I was feeling a little lucky. I decided to do a fifth ticket for the night. And this is an island that I've never, ever seen before. I've never seen this. And it's not documented on the Wikipedia page. First things first, there's hyacinth colors that I've never seen before, blue, pink, and orange, meaning that these are rare or bread colors, and there's three levels of water. And I'm pretty sure that this is a variation of Big Fish Island, or as it's called Bass Island, as everything is a size 4 in the river or bigger, which is really interesting. Actually, I did find someone who encountered the exact same island. Uh, it's actually a Zelda buddy of mine, Nintendo Black Crisis. He found the exact same island and he just, just stayed here and just farmed string fish for hours and then made bank on that. But in all honesty, those fish aren't my priority. I already have one in the museum and these blue hyacinths are needed to breed the purple ones. And I have to tell you that this is the most intense game of, is that a five or a six or a four or six or what size is that? that I've ever had in my entire life. Hope you're ready for another late night session of, of Austin's very tired, but found a rare island and is gonna try to explain it. Hooray. Last time we did this was Rare Fish Island with the sturgeon. Okay, so this island is really unique because it only spawns size five and six, which for March for the Northern Hemisphere, just basically means a black bass and also string fish. One of the most valuable fish in the game selling for 15,000 bells. So this is sort of set up for a spawn loop and it's really simple to do. All you need to do is head down to the ground floor, scare everything away as soon as you spawn in. That's only gonna leave the second and third floor, perfect. And you're essentially gonna wanna stay right here hugging this bottom area. And when you stay down here, it's going to despawn most of the things on the first floor. And then what you want to do is run around the right, clockwise around the island. And then right here, you're going to see all the fish. There's a total of four fish that are going to spawn here at any given time. If you don't see your size six, just jump over to the left. Now right now I have two down here. All I need to do is just cast my rod down there, get their attention, and then despawn them. Casting your rod and getting the attention of one fish won't despawn all of them, and it will not use up durability for your rod. So even with a level 1 basic rod, which you can farm tree branches from one of the several trees on this level, you should be good to go. Now the hardest part 
is how to tell a six from a five. And to be honest, you just kind of have to compare them. Like this bottom one seems slightly larger than the middle one, but once I get closer, I'll be able to tell better. No, they are the exact same size. Okay, back to the pole. And then we just run left. Then we'll give the things on the bottom a chance to spawn and the things on the right, they'll just spawn in. Boom, whole new batch of fish. Let's see if that bottom one is ready to be uh, taken away yet. Yes, he is. Great. And then all you need to do is repeat that. Now the string fish does not have a very good spawn rate. I'd say maybe, maybe 5%. None of those are a size six. And we just move on. My rate once I figured out the spawn loop is about one every five or six minutes or so. So it's not fast, but it is very good money. If you just need one for your Critterpedia, it's fantastic. If you want to use it as a way to farm money, you're probably better off making a tarantula island. God, it is so hard to tell if they're a five or a six. It's just kind of one of those things that when it is a six, you'll know. Now for different seasons of the year, if you're looking for a size six fish that isn't restricted to clifftop spawns, you could totally just start casting your rod down here, looking at these boys, and then catching them if they are the right size. To that of my knowledge, this island does not have a changed encounter table. Are you? You're not a six, are you? Now, if you ever catch one by mistake, that's not a worry. Because all you have to do is just take it. Uh, I should probably grab more wood. Oh, are you serious? What? Uh, not right. No. Uh, I went the whole day. The whole day. I was gonna grab another rod. Now, if you have a bass, that's not really the biggest of your worries because you could just take it face downward and then release it and it will actually help despawn the fish down there because you just dropped something in the water they got all spooked out and they bounced, know what I mean? All fives. But I found that the more you stick to the loop, the better off you'll do. This might be a six right here. This might be our string boy. Yeah, totally is. Yep. Boom, 15,000 bells. Now this is a rare island. You should not bank on being able to find this. I do so many islands every single day, usually five or six islands. So your chance of just randomly stumbling across this isn't fantastic, but if you do happen to come here, now you know why it's special. There is another big fish island that I encountered, but I didn't realize it. I didn't know why the island was special at all. You know, it, it, it was like the first few days of the game being out, no one knew why the island was special. But hopefully if you ever come across something like this and you're like, wow, why is there black bass everywhere? Just know that there's a 5% rate that you're gonna find the most expensive fish in the game. If it's in season. Ooh. Right there. You see him? The one that's clearly bigger than the little boy next to him? The leftmost one right now. And boom. How did it farm $15,000 string fish? Well, time for me to go to bed. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Oh, that's that's where I left off. I left on this island. Okay, with the string fish. You know, I wish this there, it was like a more, I don't know, effective way to farm these boys. It's also weird seeing the man face stink bugs during the day. I'm mostly excited about all these hybrid flowers. Like, that's so dope. So dope. And I'm pretty sure overnight nothing can spawn on the beach. I don't think that's a thing. Sup, Pimpin? Let's head home. Okay, so what do I think is going on today? Uh, first of all, the Mabel Sister shop should be open, which should be pretty dope. Hopefully my island rating has increased from one, because now that I have my seventh villager and my seventh villager moved in, so it'll probably be level two 
possibly level three, although I don't know if the game can allow you to jump from level two to level three. But either way, at level two, Isabel should be telling us what we need to do to hit level three, whether that's plant more flowers and more trees or less trees or more decorations or more natural decorations, all of that. Good morning, Isabel. Now time for today's announcements. We have a new friend, it's Rodney. I'm eventually gonna have Rodney move out, but he's just gonna be here for our seven villager requirement. Also, the most wonderful thing happened to please today, the Abel Sisters tailoring shop opened. The tailor shop will have all the fashion items you'd expect, as well as a custom design gallery. It's a great chance for everyone to enjoy new styles and maybe start their own plays trends. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. And if you're interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. I will, girl. I will. That's weird that I'm, I'm at the airport and now I'm home. All right, first order of business, I need to get these out of my inventory because there's no way for me to get them out of my inventory. Like, I can't store them or anything. I have to plant them. I'm currently in the middle of reorganizing my, my flower situation, but one of my fans on Twitter uh, was able to hit me up. Uh, shout out to Jack, Andre. Thank you so much, my dude. They gave me a beard, which is something I've wanted for so long. And something I want to know, can you do a custom design to make it a fuller beard? Because that would be just, just glorious. I mean, it kind of works. I feel like we could figure this out. For some reason, that gave me the world's most powerful unibrow and just a very strange shape on my face. You know what? I think that might be the best that we are going to get. And now I'm thinking about eyebrows. Well, I feel like this is kind of the closest I'm going to get, although my guy looks very menacing. <laughs> he looks very, very angry. So that's something that I'm going to keep working on. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. But just to give you guys a small update on what I'm doing here, since I now know that there's eight types of flowers, not the six or seven that I had previously, I decided that I was going to make these little corral areas that all the flowers are going to be able to live in. Unfortunately, two of the rocks are going to die from this. And so, like, here's my native flower that I have all the rare ones of. I'm just trying to breed these blue ones in order to get the last color I need, and then I'm just gonna lay them all in nice little rows, and it'll be sort of like a visual completion. The extra roses are gonna go along the outside for, I don't know, island credit and additional breeding, and then I'm kind of using this as sort of like a cross-breeding testing area with different colors, so we'll see if that works. And I've spent way too much time on this already. Is Bo watering my flowers? Bo is watering my flowers. You are such a kind person, thank you. You know, I have to say, I find this so ironic since the deer who like to visit my backyard, all they do is eat my flowers, my lavender. God, do they love to eat my lavender. And this one's being so nice to my flowers. First order of business for the day. Pretend that the day just started. Well, first of all, I, I laid down the money trees here in, in order of their growingness. And then this, this one's gonna bloom tomorrow. And then I get a new one and then I put it in this one's space. So these four slots are always going to be occupied by my four stages of money tree in a sort of cascading order. I have all of my different flower species here all laid out to, to produce and breed more. Bo is still watering them. Thank you, Bo. You're doing you're doing a great job. Great job, buddy. And then all of my excess ones, my colorful ones are all down here. I just have roses along here, because why not? Uh, first order of business is I need to sell some bugs that are in my inventory. I'm not crazy about any of these items, although that barbecue looks pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that should do nicely. Let me know how that arachnophobia is working for you. Our new sheepdog is out today. What up, Shep? How you living, brother? Ciao! Ba ba ba. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go with Sheepdog. Another day in paradise, or as I like to call it, plays. You know, you're a class act, Shep. You're a class act. The Mabel Sisters open up today. Sorry, Abel Sisters. I think it's Abel and Mabel. They are the sisters. Sanic! Hey there, welcome to Abel Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Aww. Hey, it's the great spot finder, ladies. 
Thanks for picking this fantastic location for us. We've decided to put down roots here on plays and keep selling our clothes and accessories. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay, so when you first walk in, you'll find our recommended items right there, front and center. Then over to your left, you'll find the mannequins. They're dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits we're into. Of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you're more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the back wall. We'd love to display your designs, of course, and if you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the custom wall, you find our custom design portal. You can use that kiosk to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. And the last thing I want to tell you is about the fitting room. You could go try on anything that's available for sale that day, including all the color variations. Okay, that's pretty dope. Wow, the Kanye hater blockers and the full denim outfit. What a baller. Let's check out the fitting room. Wow, 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 wow. So many things here. Acid wash jackets. That's a baller jacket. Oh my God, pullover. The morning coat. Wow. Wow, I am one classy dude. You know, I'm not crazy about the pants, but other than that, this is a really baller outfit. Oh, that makes it weird. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna spend way too much money here, I see it now. The shoes though, so many shoes options. I was really lacking in the shoes department, to be honest. Okay, I don't have a lot of time to be- Oh, those are dope. Okay, just the- just the Michael Kors boots. That's it for now. A world of creativity awaits via the custom designs portal. Here you could download custom designs from creators all over the world. Customers with internet access and NSO can use it. Okay. So wait, you're gonna be able to search by my creator ID and find all of the custom designs that I post? I'm now registered as a creator. My ID is that. Screenshot that. I could check my creator ID for my passport. Okay. First design is gonna be Mew. Design ID is that. And then, is this just gonna bring me right to Twitter? Yep. Alright, I've now posted all of my custom design shirts. So, with my creator code, you can now see all of my custom designs. Looks like this is gonna take a while to load. <laughs> oh, there we go, it's slowly filling up there. Oh my beauties. I think this is so cool. So cool. Trash Panda, we need to talk! You need- or, or actually, it's- it's dog. Girl dog! How's my rating? How's my rating? How's my rating? Yes! Two stars! There's some positive buzz floating around about our island. Folks are starting to take notice. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback I gathered. It's great that there isn't too much going on. I hope it'll stay nice and unassuming, like me. Now, if we want feedback from anyone else, increasing the population must be our main focus. I invited back Peacock. Peacock will be here tomorrow. Here's some feedback from me. I believe we've truly improved our island scenery. I continue to marvel at your skill in decoration and landscaping design. We're lucky to have you. And there you have it. What? Does that does that mean I've met the requirements? Does that mean I need more things? Okay, I, I spoke to her again, but let me know if you have any uh, time after that because the island scenery needs some work as well. I know there are recipes and items in the Nook Stop that would make a big impact on the island scenery. Saving up and redeeming your miles is a perfect way to add some decorative flair to this place. And there you have it. So, oh, I didn't mean to choose this again. So it sounds like I have to use the computer, and the computer is going to have stuff that I can buy to decorate the island. It sounds like that's what's going on. Maybe I shouldn't have spent all my money on Nook Miles tickets. Let's buy this signpost, and I don't have enough miles for anything else. I mean, I could buy this construction sign, so sure, we'll buy a construction sign. Oh, and I'll be here tomorrow. That's not helpful. Thanks, game. But also while I'm here, I could pay off my loan. Hooray! I'm poor again. But I'm a homeowner. Trash Panda, guess what I did? From one entrepreneur to another, you certainly have a knack for managing your bells. Think of how far you've come from a simple tent to a grand two-story home. Now, surely you have no need for additional space, and yet... Where would we be if not a shot for the moon? Certainly not living on this island paradise. So, with no agenda of procuring further business, I tell you that you can build a basement. Do that... <laughs> do with that information what you will, and once again, congratulations. How much is a basement? Now, you've weathered some serious sticker shock before, so I'm sure you can handle it. But this'll be spendy. Oh! Oh, it's a quarter million bells! Oh! <laughs> oh 
Oh boy. That is, that is a big, big sticker. I don't think we need to do this yet. No. No. But I would like to build a bridge. It's a simple log suspension bridge because this is gonna go in sort of a wildernessy area. Oh boy. Quarter million bells. Oh, there's a baggy shirt in a cardboard box. Great. That'll help make up for how much money I've spent here. I... It's come to my attention that I still have these two lots that are open. I know I have Peacock moving in. But the other one, I guess, is just blank. Maybe that's reserved for a camper. And I don't think I have a camper today. Because that would be during the morning announcements. It's Sahara! I don't have a pole vault. I'm coming around the long way. You stay there. Ignore this area. I just realized I'm poor. I don't have any money on me. You know, there is a crazy chance that this is my money rock for the day. Nope. Nope. Not the money rock. Sahara, Habibi, you gonna be here all day? All day? Don't go anywhere, okay? You promise? You go nowhere else. Hold us. Oh, wait, wait. Are you my money rock for the day? Oh, wait. I could use my new beds. Nope. Which one is my money rock for the Oh, the one to the left of my house. Isn't it crazy that last night we found Money Rock Island and Money Rock Island isn't as... Isn't, like, if you fill up your inventory with tarantulas, that's more money than the island dedicated to money. We found you. What's up, mailbox? Stop beeping. Dodo Airlines, some merch. Cool. And Nook Incorporated. A new resident moved into your plot. So we put a thousand Nook Miles into your account. Thousand Nook Miles. That's all I get. An eye mask? <laughs> Just run around blind all day. What's the baggy shirt? I don't hate that. And we have a beautiful log bridge so that we can go to both sides of this landmass up here. Fantastic. Oh, we have a money tree that grew. I did not realize that there was one up here. $30,000 tree, thank you so much. So I ended up making a bunch of these signposts, and uh, hopefully that counts for something. <laughs> I have I have no idea how well this will or will not work to add toward like my total score. If this is something I could just like spam a lot of, that is so cool about the Able Sisters. Oh, and because these are hybrids, we have we have the beautiful butterflies over here. Oh, my dude, this thing has a weird hitbox. I think it's two by two even though it clearly doesn't look like it's two by two. I'm starting to think I made too many destination signposts. Oh, we are getting so many rare butterflies just everywhere. Oh, they're beautiful. I don't wonder, can I just buy like a lot of double sofas? Oh, I can, but they'll be here tomorrow. Looks like we're not gonna hit level three yet. Oh, I can only order five items a day. Okay, great. I did not notice that this one said sold. Okay, so this is gonna be Peacock's house. Does that bring me to seven? I thought I had seven already. Yeah, I totally already have seven villagers. And I think seven is the requirement for the concert. I wonder if I'm now at the point that if I were to take a trip, I would have more villagers show up. I don't know. I have to say, I kind of love, I kind of love my island with all these like rare flowers everywhere. It's so nice and like, that's a beautiful, Beautiful, expensive butterfly, just chilling, just flying around, doing his thing, know what I mean? And Sahara, unfortunately, you don't have anything that helps me out right now. Bo is, Bo's researching the flowers. Still on the same one page of the wrong flower, but still. He seems very interested in the rare flowers, that's for sure. First of all, I now realize I look like Kevin Smith, but that's fine. Unfortunately, this is all the time I have for today. I have a lot of chores to do. I have to grind up my miles. I wanna take some trips tonight. We discovered a lot of amazing things last night, but we have to keep that momentum going. We gotta grind up those miles, know what I mean? Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Animal Crossing with me, Austin John Plays. Until next time, Austin John out.